Hi there, I'm Susie Devine. I am a women's health and IVF nurse, and I am also the founder of Binto. We have formulated a whole line of over-the-counter products, such as supplements, to support women who are going through the fertility and IVF experience. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the best supplements that are actually proven to help support and potentially boost egg quality. When it comes to fertility, our egg quality is just a portion of the puzzle, but it's critical to having a healthy embryo and thus a healthy pregnancy that results in a live birth. So there's a lot of things that we can do to boost the health and the quality of our eggs. The first thing we wanna do is incorporate supplements into our routine. There are only a few that are actually scientifically proven through data and research that actually make an impact on human egg quality. The first one that is very well studied is called CoQ10. CoQ10 is a powerful antioxidant. We actually have CoQ10 in our own cells in the body. When we've studied CoQ10, we found that it naturally declines in our cells as we age. Thus, we found it correlates with aging poor egg quality and aging females. We can supplement with this though. CoQ10 comes in two different forms. You can find it as ubiquinone and ubiquinol. Both ones are good, but ubiquinone is actually more widely studied in the IVF and fertility community. So we have actually a lot more research on ubiquinone which is great because it's much more cost effective for you. And if you are doing IVF or doing fertility treatments, every single dollar of savings counts. The other form is called ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is also a great form, but it's not as widely studied in fertility specifically. It's also made by one private company out of Japan. So they have a lot of trademarks on this product, um, which sort of sells it in the marketplace. CoQ10 should be taken daily. You want to, for females, take at least 200 milligrams a day. And I would say, go ahead and start this, even if you're in your young 30s or late 20s. It doesn't hurt you, it's not toxic, it's completely safe to take. Again, we have this in ourselves already. On the high end, if you are going through IVF and you have an inflammatory disease process like endometriosis or PCOS, which will impact your egg quality, you wanna make sure that you're taking a higher dosage, like 400 milligrams to 800 milligrams daily. Next up is DHEA. DHEA is a hormone. Again, we have this in our bodies like CoQ10. It is one of the few supplements or products on the market that's an actual hormone. So we wanna be really careful when we are letting people take this or if you were deciding to take it because only a small cohort of people really benefit from taking DHEA. In other cases, it can be problematic. DHEA can increase our androgen levels. These are the male sex hormones. However, it does make an impact on our egg quality, and it has been well studied in the fertility and IVF community in humans. If you're going to take DHEA, you want to probably have endometriosis, have DOR, unexplained infertility. If you have PCOS, you should not be taking DHEA as you already have high levels of androgens, and this can make it go higher. So this can negatively impact you and your fertility. So please don't take this if you have PCOS. All right, now that we've cleared that up, if you're going to take DHEA, if that fits the criteria for you and your diagnosis, you wanna be taking 75 milligrams per day. So you can take that in three capsules daily at 25 milligrams a day. Don't worry for those of you who have PCOS, there is something out there that you can take aside from CoQ10 to boost your egg quality. This is called inositol. Inositol is actually a carbohydrate, but it's from the B vitamin family. 
At Bento, we use inositol as a powder supplement mix. If you were to take it in capsule form, you'd be taking way too many capsules a day to get the specific dosage that you need. When shopping for inositol, you want to make sure you are buying an inositol supplement that comes in a 40 to 1 ratio of Mayo and d inositols. It's really important that is the most bioavailable and most effective blend of inositol. Inositol supports women with PCOS because it can help balance our hormones and it helps with insulin sensitivity and blood sugar levels. It can also boost the egg quality of women with PCOS. So if you have PCOS and you're currently trying to get pregnant, make sure to take inositol daily. You can mix this powder supplement into your daily water in the morning, into your coffee, into a smoothie, whatever it is, but take it daily and you will see the benefits. The last supplement when it comes to boosting our egg quality is DHA, not to be confused with DHEA. DHA is an omega fat, it is an omega 369. Omega fats are critical for all kinds of processes and development in the body. When it comes to fertility, these are really important fats for supporting hormone balance, for supporting our uterine health, and it can boost our egg quality. So make sure you are taking a daily DHA supplement along with your daily prenatal and in addition to any of these other supplements to boost your egg quality. As always, it's really important to look at supplements in conjunction with a healthy diet. So you want to make sure that you are eating a really healthy, balanced diet when you're trying to conceive and this can actually help boost your egg quality. So you want to limit inflammatory foods like coffee and refined sugars. You want to stick to more complex carbs, lean proteins, healthy fats, and lots of antioxidants that you can find in berries and greens. You can find all of these supplements at Bento at mybento.com where we personalize your suite of fertility supplements based on your needs. So we can actually match you with exactly the supplements you need for your fertility journey and for your IVF needs if you're going through IVF. That takes all the guesswork out of this process for you. We can pair you with the supplements you need to specifically support your egg quality and your fertility health.